Hello everyone. I'm Andy, a lecturer at ThinkMO. Currently I am teaching CCIE course. Starting today, I will share some CCNA, CCNP, CCIE related technologies with you. The topic of our lesson today is What is MAC address drift? In simple terms, about the MAC address drift we mentioned. It can be summed up in one sentence. That means one of my switches. Learning the same from multiple interfaces. A MAC address. So let's call this phenomenon. MAC address drift. We'll look at it in detail what exactly is MAC address drift. And under what circumstances. Causing the MAC address drift now we see that. A phenomenon about the drift of such a MAC. In this picture. When one of my switches, it's connected to a PC. The MAC address of the PC is a MAC address like this. Okay, so this time, this PC of mine sent out a broadcast. So this broadcast is going to go out in both directions. This is the top switch and this is the bottom switch. So let's start with this. The switch in the lower right corner. What about this switch? After receiving a broadcast like this, it will be recorded automatically. The original MAC address in this broadcast, it will automatically learn the MAC of this PC. This is the direction we mentioned through the G001 port. Learn about such a MAC address. That's what it looks like. In this we assume that the interface belongs to VLAN2. In such a representation, there is a VLAN ID too, and other MAC addresses. Then we'll go back and analyze it from us. From the top this way the switch. The broadcast message is in. I sent it to the switch above. It will also be sent to my switch at the bottom right. So this data is received by G002. And at the same time, the switch learns into our broadcast message. The source MAC address. Where did you learn it? You can learn that by G002. What happens during this process? Because he first learned it. From G001. And then we go from G002. I learned the MAC address. So what we learned later. It overrides what we learned first. So the interface is G001. And then I switch to G002. This is my switch. On two interfaces. I learned the same MAC address. We call this phenomenon. MAC address drifts procedure. Let's talk about it. Under what circumstances. There could be MAC address drift. Usually. For the so-called MAC address drift. The most common one is just now. I'm going to show you this picture. In this picture, the implications are obvious. Between the three switches, it forms a loop. This is the first case that we talked about the loop. We all know that. For what's called a loop, the message you sent to broadcast will be transmitted throughout our entire Flooding occurs in the switched network. This will cause our switch. Learned from multiple interfaces. The same MAC address. There are other cases. Let's say something like VRRP. Or HSRP technology. Those of you who have studied. VRRP and HSRP know this. These two are simple. This is about the next hop backup technology we mentioned it's mainly used to backup our gateway devices. Based on this situation, whether VRRP or HSRP, it going to create a virtual MAC. The MAC is used for the active and standby devices we mentioned to use together. In the process, when one of our devices is the primary device, the following switch learned the MAC address. One of its exits is the exit to my main device. If our main equipment fails, 
switched to the backup gateway device. This time my backup gateway device. It sends out a gratuitous ARP. Of course this gratuitous ARP. We'll do that later in the course. It will be explained accordingly. So this gratuitous ARP. In simple terms. You can think of it. As a broadcast message. When sends it out. So will this switch of mine. From another interface. The same virtual MAC address. Let's take this situation. It's called MAC address drift. The third scenario. A local area network similar to. The intranet we mentioned. Similar to an ARP attack. In this case. It also causes the. MAC address drift we mentioned. Wait a minute. That's what we did. Corresponding to some relatively simple scenarios. There are some complications. So we have this thing that. We're talking about called. MAC address drift. How should we handle this? Or how do we know? There's MAC address drift. On one of Huawei's devices. There's something called drift detection. In simple terms. MAC address drift detection is to use our MAC address interface hopping. What is outbound interface hopping? Let's say I get this MAC address. At port 001. Later. I learned the MAC address from port 002. Or through some other interface. That's what's going to. Happen on my switch. A MAC address a condition that occurs frequently on different interfaces. Based on this situation. We can turn it on on this switch. Detects MAC address drift. Once a hop of the interface occurs. MAC address indicates a hop. Change of the outgoing interface. Then this switch of mine. Will voluntarily report. The alarm information. And then at the same time. When we see this alarm message. You have to do a screening accordingly. Go through one of our networks. Whether there is a loop. Or whether it is due to other fault reasons. As a result. Our MAC address drifts. Of course. In the picture below that we mentioned. Above is the network we mentioned. The network then sends. A broadcast message. Reached the switch A. After switcher receives it. It also does an operation. For a broadcast. To switch B. Now suppose you're in SWC and SWD. That is. On two switches. A line was connected by mistake. At this time is not. The phenomenon of ring road. This time it is possible to. Cause my MAC address. The phenomenon of drift occurs. We're not going to talk about. STP here. Based on this situation. Once we've got it on the switch. A feature of MAC address drift detection. My switch will sense it. An outbound interface of. This MAC address. There was this jump. If this happens too often. The switch reports. A MAC address drift alarm. This is when you need to check the network so, in this process. That was pretty detailed. For example. If these SWC and SWD. A line is connected between. The two switches by mistake. And then SWB, SWC, and SWD. It will form a loop. Then switch a will switch. From port 1. A broadcast packet was received. Then the packets are forwarded to switch B. Whether it comes down. From the left. Reaching switch C. Then it passes through switch D. And then it goes to switch B. I'm still coming down on the right. Pass through switch D. Reaching switch C. Then it goes to switch B. It's the same phenomenon. Switch senses the alarm. The MAC address mentioned. The outbound interface hops. Why? Because switch a first. 
such a broadcast packet is received. It was received from port 1. So it's on port 1 at this point. I learned the MAC address. And then when you have a loop. And you go back. From this port 2. Switch A learns MAC addresses. From port 2 Switch A will think it has one. MAC address drifts. That's based on a situation like this. It will be on our console. An operational command line console. The MAC address drift alarm is displayed by default. These switches are all on. Detects MAC address drift. So you don't have to worry about that. In the next issue. We'll keep going. Something more effective. Procedure for handling MAC address drift. MAC address drift is detected. In the network. Whether or not it will automatically handle these behaviors. That's all for today. If there are any other techniques you'd like to learn, feel free to leave a message or send me a message. If you're interested in what I'm talking about, hope to share and subscribe more like. Thank you. See you next time.